Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial I guess because I wanted to show this epic build um, that I've done in my single player world. So basically you can see here this is my world and I should probably crank up the uh, thingy too far so you can see a bit better. And as you can see here there are some crazy contraptions over here and you can see over here here's my um, B island place where I have all my bees and machines and stuff. Um, I got my farms over here, the animal farm and that thing, and uh, of course this stonecraft and liquid storage thingy. But what I want to go over this episode is actually my epic UU matter production. Now check this out. Now currently I kind of overdid it because, as you can see, I got one too many of these HV solar rays because it can't keep up basically the, uh, the scrap can't keep up which kinda sucks um, but I'll have to fix that later and that's not really relevant right now basically what I wanna show you is how I can create so many HV solar rays without actually having to make them myself because obviously those take 64 um... wait how is it uh, a lot basically of those normal solars. Wait, this is so there's six, there's eight times eight, and that's 64 times. Yeah, it's a lot basically. But what I've set, I like, I have set up here is actually a um, an automated crafting thingy, but using the um, what's it called? The apply the logistics and as you can see here are all the blocks but okay so I'm not gonna go over all, what all the blocks do but I'm basically gonna go over um, how you make this and if you wanna know more about this mod you should go check out Direwolf 20's video showing off um, basically how to do how to use this mod um, because he got two very very helpful spotlights um, showing off this mod so basically this, like, I'm getting energy from here, which is just transfer transferring energy to all of this, and you can see here how much I'm using. Now, I'm not going to go through that. Basically, I'm getting energy through some steam boilers over, over here, which is getting fuel from blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. So, basically, what I've set up here is, first of all, um, so, basically, what you want to do is start with the controller. Um, now, I'm not going to go through how you make the recipes, but basically, you want to have one controller, and one ME terminal. You can also use this uh, ME crafting monitor, which is really helpful. Um, then you want to make sure you got like one or two chests or some way to store them. Now you will know how to store those basically watching Direwolf 20's video. Um, and that is about what you need for these standard blocks. Then you need to make one of these. ME Molecular Assembler cham Chamber. Now I've made one 5x5 um, five five because I thought that would be great and I had so many materials I thought it was worth it. Now again go watch these videos if you want to know how to build these because there are some different kind of blocks inside this that you need. Um, there's the CPU core thingy um, this and there's the heat vents and the containment walls and the CPU, yeah. And basically, I've put a craft on different thing in there, different things in there to make it go really quick. So what this thing can do is you can print. Um, let me get one of these things. Um, and wait, which one is this? Okay, this is gold. So basically, you can make these uh, just by that, and it's really simple. And then you want to get one of these ME pattern encoders. And what you want to do is put one here, and then for example you can do this. Super easy. And you can encode it, and when you do that, you can put it in here. Now what that is going to do is allow you to use this whole system, which you need to hook up using cables. You can see I hooked up with an ME something something cable to this whole huge thingy-bajig. Um, to the... you need to hook it up to the... what's it called? To the ME terminal. And basically, once you've done that, um, you can craft things using this. So, for example, you can see here, I wanna. No, I haven't got anything set right now. So, for example, you can see me right here. I have made it possible to craft um, copper cables, and I've also made it possible to craft copper using UU matter. So, this kind of goes in this whole loop where it needs UU matter to make more things. So, as you can see, blah blah blah, it makes that using uh, 
3 UU matter, and I'm not going to go through the recipes of how to make these, but basically I encoded one of these uh, templates, um, the, the copper dust pattern, uh, and put it in here, really basic. Uh, so that is going to make copper dust, which then, well, I'm not going to go through that, but basically, um, it kind of goes up in ranks. You don't need to actually craft everything separate. So, for example, I haven't got enough copper cables, nor have I got enough copper, but I can still craft one of these because it's going to make the copper um, and then make the copper cables and then finally make my uh, electronic circuit. Now, the way you do to smelt these things, which obviously, for example, you need to smelt the copper dust, you need to extract the resin, you need to macerate the coal, and um, I guess, yeah, smelt the tin as well and refine the iron for everything to work. So how I've made here is basically, ooh, I'm going to sleep through the night real quick, it shouldn't take long. So basically what I've done is I've used, one second just, I've used these cool blocks, I don't know what they're called, they're called the ME interface. Now you can put one of these and they kind of work like tubes from uh, pneumatic tubes or like Billcroft tubes. And what they do is you can put one of those um, patterns or these, uh, these, um, yeah, and these ME encoded assembler patterns. And so in here I'll put copper. And what that is going to do basically, it, it, you can see I put in here, um, so what I did was what I put this thing in here. And then when I put the copper dust, it didn't really come out with anything because this is obviously only doing it in a crafting table. But you can override this by using the material you want and kind of clicking it. Now I'm not going to do that because it's going to screw up everything. But basically that is really simple. So that's all I did. And what I'm kind of telling is, uh, what it's kind of telling is, if you take one copper dust and put it in here, it's going to give you a copper. Really, ooh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with you. So basically that is really simple and that's what I've done for all of these. So you can see I've put up a bunch of these just using the the um, EU from solar panels and in an MFSU and so on. And so you can see I think I've got an extractor somewhere here as well. Uh, yeah, here you can see the extractor with our clocker saying you can use um, one stick of resin to get three rubber. Really simple. And again, you will learn this if you watch this video, which I highly recommend you probably already done that by now um, and in here you can see um, I've got it saying you can craft from one gold or you'll get two gold dust no wait not gold dust but two gold ingots because obviously I'm pulverizing everything first to save some UU matter and that's basically how I'm doing everything so I guess I should go through like me making something so I, I guess I'll just set this high voltage on begin so what it's gonna do first is obviously you can see, oh right, I just want to tell you that this ME crafting monitor is just going to tell you what it's missing. So right now it's crafting up everything, so for example everything for a normal solar panel. So you can see here it's needing generators and batteries and co uh, coal dust. And what it's saying is basically, uh, let's see, I sh think some rubber should be going through here real soon. Probably, until we get there. So now it's just need needing iron and I think... My refining iron thingamajig is over here, yeah. So this thing is set to, you can use one iron ingot to refine, to get one refined iron. And oh yeah, these things basically extract everything, the ME import bus, bus. So you can see now it got its iron, um, and now it needs, oh it really started, already started making a new one. Same thing for copper, it's going to craft um, some copper dust, and then it's going to smelt it in... Uh, I think it was this one, yeah. It's gonna smelt it in here and just give you more copper, uh, which is really simple. And I did the same for glass, um, but it doesn't have to smelt because there's already a UU matter for glass, so you can see here. Um, I can take that out actually, show you the recipe. Really simple. Now you can just look up these on the wiki. And that is basically everything I've done. And then once the. You know what? I guess I could make like. Let's do this. Uh, you just shift click to cancel the thingy. Um, I guess I can craft a medium voltage, really simple, it shouldn't take long actually. Um, so you can see I've got three now and it's kind of slowly building up, you can see it needing some more resin and so on and so forth. 
Now the way I'm storing this is just basically using the ME 4K storage because I didn't really need more. Um, and this is really simple. Now it took some time figuring out how to do all this, uh, but it was really worth it. And you can also see I've got a cobble gen here just because I need cobble for the... I don't know what it's for. Oh right, for the furnaces, but I'm getting a bit more, so I think I'm going to turn that off right now. Um, also the UU matter is going in here. Um, now, if you want to see how I'm making all of this UU matter ex like so extremely quick that it's actually just enough for a one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, almost eight um, HV solars, uh, you're gonna have to watch another episode really soon, probably. Um, but let's actually measure how much EU I'm getting. Now this is obviously, I've been doing this for a couple of days. Um, and as you can see I've gotten a bunch of them which is really useful. So let's measure here. Let's measure this thing actually. And there we go. So you can't probably see it but right now it's using uh, 1822 EU per tick. Um, oh no, it just went up to 3000 exactly about that almost um which is a lot and it makes a bit more sense um so yeah you can probably tell i'm getting a bunch of uu matter now if you want to see something else in this world that you think looks cool for example how i'm doing the bees or how i'm getting so incredibly uh, large amounts of e um no way uh mj or maybe how um um, doing my farmcraft or how I'm getting infinite experience, um, anything like that, just post it in the comment section and I'll do a video about it. Um, for example, if you want to know how I'm getting all of this, um, this scrap using the routers, which is a really cool setup. But I'm actually going to have to sign off here and I'll see you all next time, hopefully. So, bye!